A lot of the cinematographers we have on film episodes in blocks. So they'll do like one and two, one and, you know, one, two and three. Sometimes they jump around different parts of the season, but it sounds like you guys in editing aren't necessarily doing it in blocks. You may do episode one, but then you may do episode nine. Um, am I hearing that right? Absolutely. How do you maintain consistency? Because what you're, the story you're telling in episode nine may be completely based on what happened in episode eight. And how would they even know what happened? And again, that's why we so depend on this being a team effort. So I said, we have four or five story producers mm. and those are all assigned. Let's say, let, let, let me just do some easy math. There's, let's say there's four story producers and each story producer is assigned to a team of three editors. So we have 12 editors and we're just going to, you know, every fourth episode, you know, your team works on this, your team works on that, your team works on that. So you are in your little bunker, you're only focusing on your episode. Um, then there is a supervising producer who watches all the cuts. So as we get things done, we'll send them to the supervising producer. So they're kind of watching everything and they're like, eh, this is falling flat or make sure we keep this person alive because they're going to go home next episode. And this is the last chance to have them, you know, say their funny catchphrases. Um, so there's that supervising producer that, that oversees everything and gives us feedback so that we are aware of each other. Yes, ideally we're able to, like I said, check in and watch each other's works, but we don't always have time. Now that's an, that's a, very antiseptic, idealized version of it. What really happens is I'll be on episode three and at 11 o'clock, I'll, I'll get a text from my producer saying, we just got network notes back. We got all hands on deck. We need, you know, can you take act one of episode two? Because we've got to get that out by time. And so, wow. again, we're always in each other's pockets. And, on, and I think that's one of the reasons I like the competition reality shows. It's just a little... They're big and they're unwieldy, but it is a little bit easier There's because there is the structure of come in, challenge thing, winner, loser, you know, challenge set up for next time. So there's yeah. at least you've got that framework. Um, unlike like, you know, Naked and Afraid, they'll shoot 21 days and you have to make a 42 minute show out of 21 days. Um, and you've got to find really clever ways to compress time show interesting drama, but not feel like you're just jumping around. Um, I mean, like that, it's almost a whole separate podcast to talk about docu-follow type shows mm. um, than, than competition reality. I'm just kind of focusing on that because um, that's what I've been doing a lot lately. Yeah. But yeah, it is, it is, it, it, the, the, again, long winded answer is there is a supervising producer that keeps track of all that stuff. Once a show is locked, quote unquote, there's usually one or two editors that is considered a finishing editor. I was a finishing editor last season um, where one editor makes a final pass at the whole thing, make sure, make sure that everything sounds right, the sound effects are right, the speed ramps don't feel out of place, it, that it feels like it's still coming from one voice. Yeah. Um, and again, and like, and some people may find that stifling and that you're trying to make it look like every, everything else. But that's kind of part of the job. You're branding. Like, of course. Yeah. Uh, I mean. Um, you have to always know what show you're watching. Otherwise, oh, yeah. what are you watching? Like, that makes sense. Well, it's like, I, I remember I, I just wrapped uh, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star last year when I came over to MasterChef. And it took me a day to remember, oh, I don't have to put a sound effect and a hit and a shing on every single thing. Because like we, we do that very little on MasterChef and we did it constantly. And it's fun. Yeah. I love, I loved editing Drag Race. I was the one of the lead editors on that for All Stars. Um, and what's great about Drag Race is that, my God, the queens give the best sound bites, but you are They'll they'll say they're funny lines and they're funny, but unless you put them in context of it being juxtaposed with what's happening in the reality, that's when you're really building the joke. So you add the sound effects or the the eye roll or the um, you know the the the, the shady rattlesnake sound effect. Yeah. Um, but you are literally making the jokes. Um, they're giving you all the the great material to do it. 
but otherwise it's like, you know, if a tree falls in the world, in the woods, it was a drag queen laugh. Well, what so, I, what, uh, what I love about that show is that there's really, there's no villains. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, there's going to be the shady Queens and the ones that are, but you guys, you edit all of these, all of these people really well. And, and you, it seems like you're aware that you're helping them build their brand. A thousand percent. I, I mean, it, there's, there's great affection for the contestants. I mean, I, I think this goes back, I used to edit uh, A&E biographies and I would get so invested in the stories and the people. And, and that's kind of, I said, I was editing A&E biographies kind of when reality came along and I thought, oh, this is kind of like, doing a biography. You have a bit of reality and then a, a talking head. But I I want the audience to fall in love with these people. Um, now, there are certain queens that I c- could not get off my screen fast enough. I just had no time for. Um, sometimes I people would say, oh, you gave them a bad edit. I'm like, sometimes I gave them a really good edit <laughs> and I could have made them look so much worse. Mm. But I, but I don't, that's not what the show is about. The show is not about piling onto somebody. <laughs> 